a very warm good afternoon to all the panelists on behalf of department of biotechnology ims engineering college i dr vivek kumar welcome all the dignitaries for the discussion on very important topic that is btech biotechnology as a career option after 12th biology this program is planned to address the queries and doubts of 12th biology stream students about their prospects in choosing btech biotechnology and making a successful career after getting an engineering degree a panelist for today's event includes both senior academicians as well as the alumni of the department and they are first of all our uh, dr professor uh, vikram bali uh, director ims engineering college dr s n rajan dean academics ims engineering college dr meghna singh head of the department biotechnology ims engineering college dr indu bhat assistant professor department of biotechnology ims engineering college mr ankit sharma research manager alumnus of batch 2011 and ms yashi tripathi alumna of batch 2022 now without wasting any time i would take uh, this opportunity to introduce our director dr vikram bali uh, dr vikram bali is having more than 22 years of teaching research and administrative experience he has traveled across many countries and he completed his uh, schooling from international school of, of paris france he completed his phd from uh, banasthali vidyapeet rajasthan he has published more than 70 research papers in international journals conferences and edited books index in sci web of sciences scopus he is also author of uh, uh, eight books published by international publishing house and moreover he has two patents that has been granted under his name and five patent have been published now i request a uh, director sir or dr uh, professor vikram bali to share his views on the event and the department over to you dr uh, vikram bali thank you uh, dr vivek kumar uh, thanks for giving me this uh, opportunity for coming online and uh, interacting with the uh, young generation first of all i would like to congratulate the department for uh, taking this uh, unique uh, opportunity and having this uh, online program where the students mm -hmm. can uh, where the students can uh, put up question and the faculty member the expert in the area of biotechnology will give answer to their uh, queries and i am really uh, glad to be a part of this uh, forum and i am also thankful to uh, ankit sharma our answer to the students uh, i would like to add over here that uh, ims engineering college has got a legacy of uh, 20 years old institution and uh, i am very proud to share that my biotechnology department is one of the leading department in the institute right sorry uh, sorry for interruption so this uh, biotechnology department is one of the leading uh, uh, department uh, in my institute and it is a very rich department with very well qualified faculty members and uh, they have got uh, uh, patents also research also right so all the components which are required for the development of the student uh, are provided in the department we have got well equipped labs right so i am very much sure that with the uh, dynamic uh, pool of uh, talented faculty members our students will uh, guess the best 
teaching and they will be able to compete with the other students and they, they will be able to get a good uh, job in the industry. So with these uh, words, I can assure the upcoming generation, the students who are seeking admission, that we will, uh, we will provide a congenial environment to them for holistic development where they can excel in their life. So they can uh, trust IMS Engineering College, the biotechnology department is the right choice for them. So with these words, I uh, welcome and I open this uh, forum uh, to uh, move ahead. Thank you, Dr. Vivek. Over, over to you, Dr. Vivek. Thank you, sir. Thank you for sharing your kind words. Now I'll take uh, opportunity to introduce uh, uh, Dr. S. N. Rajan. Uh, Dr. S. N. Rajan is uh, one of the senior most academician and the current dean academics of uh, IMS Engineering College. He has a uh, total 28 years of experience in teaching and industry as well. During uh, this long career, he has <clears throat> served on various uh, important position apart from Dean Academics that includes uh, head of department of IT and uh, head of uh, IQAC are uh, among the most important uh, positions that uh, he had he had uh, hold previously now i would like to request uh, dr s n rajan to share his uh, view on the department and the event over to you our department the bad event is very much vibrant and interesting the students there are doing a lot of innovative projects and such the students of the department are having huge potential to grow in the field of biomedical and nanoscience Genetic engineering, healthcare, and environmental management. The very big labs of the department helps students get in depth knowledge of all these technologies and become a global biotech professional. So, I wish all the success to the students of the department and the department as a whole. Thank you very much. Thank you, uh, Dr. Rajan. Now, now I would take uh, opportunity to introduce our uh, other expert in the panel. Uh, we have uh, with us uh, Dr. Meghna Singh. Uh, Dr. Meghna Singh is PhD from uh, the reputed Jawaharlal uh, Nehru University, Delhi. And uh, she has also been associated uh, for a time with the uh, IID Bombay for postdoctoral research. She is a seasoned academician and researcher. Dr. Singh has vast experience in vaccine development and drug designing uh, for infectious diseases. She is currently heading the Department of Biotechnology at uh, IMS uh, Engineering uh, College. The other panelist is Dr. Indu Bhatt who pursued her PhD from uh, Banasthali Vidyapit, Rajasthan. During her PhD, she visited the uh, University of BDP, Germany as a DART research fellow to do a part of her research work there. She is also the recipient uh, of uh, Dr. Kuthari postdoctoral fellowship. Her area of expertise is molecular biology and the uh, stress response of crop plants. She has over 10 years of teaching and research experience and has published research and review papers in journals of international repute. Now, I would also like to introduce uh, uh, another two panelists uh, in the discussion. They are our alumni. Uh, one is uh, one alumni is uh, a recent one and uh, one of the alumni has been uh, passed out for more than 10 years. Uh, I would like to introduce uh, Ankit Sharma, uh, research manager at uh, multinational pharmaceutical company uh, Sun Pharma of batch 2011 and uh, Yashi Tripathi, uh, of batch 2022 and she is working as 
project engineer at a multinational IT company, Wipro. Now, uh, taking uh, the event further, I would like to ask a few questions about the scope and uh, other aspects of biotechnology. So I, I would like to take the first question to the head of the department, uh, Dr. Meghna Singh, and she will explain what is biotechnology. Thank you, Dr. Vivek, for having me here in this panel. And uh, yeah, this is one very uh, lovely question that I would like to answer that what is biotechnology uh, as we start this whole forum discussion. So biotechnology emerged slowly uh, within, many, uh, within uh, many, many years. So uh, earlier we had heard about biology, then we heard about botany, we heard about zoology, then it converted into something which is currently we call as biotechnology. So the emergence is nothing but the commercial harnessing, commercial usage of what is available biologically in the living being. So using them to create something very useful and commercial for us and to create technology based on that, that is biotechnology. So by, with the use of biotechnology, we are able to make bulk amount of many useful products which are used in personal uh, uh, usage. They are used in cosmetics. They are used for making vaccines, for making deriving new drugs. So that is how biotechnology has become a part of our life, emerging from a very basic field of biology. Uh, thank you, Dr. Meghna Singh, for explaining what is biotechnology is. Now, this uh, brings me to the next important question uh, that uh, is related to the courses. For the students, uh, two different biotechnology courses are available, and uh, these courses are BSc and BTech in biotechnology. So, uh, I would be uh, requesting uh, Dr. Indu Bhatt to explain the differences between these two courses and uh, advantages or disadvantages students may have with these courses. Thank you, Dr. Vivek. So uh, this is actually a very interesting question uh, because uh, the students are actually, uh, you know, they have a lot of confusion about, you know, which, which course to choose for, whether they should be going for a BSc program or they should choose a BTEC program. Now, the biggest problem here is that many students, uh, you know, who have biology in their 12th, they do not know about BTEC course, that you know, there is a course like BTEC Biotechnology that has its existence. So, uh, first of all, you know, I would like to explain the difference that is there in the duration of the course and, you know, what are the uh, subjects that are taught, the you know, in both the courses and what is the difference. So, if you talk about the duration of the course, the BTEC degree is actually a professional degree and it takes uh, you know four years for the course to be completed whereas uh, the bsc biotechnology is a three-year degree program now uh, if you talk about bsc it is a basic science graduation course whereas uh, btech biotechnology is definitely going to give a professional degree to the students who are pursuing it now uh, you know what all uh, is the difference in the curriculum is that in case of uh, bsc uh, biotechnology the basic science courses are being taught to the student, wherein you know there is a very limited exposure to the experimental field. So experiments are there, but it is not actually research oriented. The students they do not learn the projects, they do not do you know that much of hands-on uh, training, which actually is the core competency that is required for a biotechnologist. When it requires for them to be absorbed in any company that that requires a biotechnology professional. So if a student is going to do a BSc in biotechnology, that student is going to end up in having only the theoretical knowledge mostly. Whereas if you talk about a BTEC biotechnology student, the student is definitely going to have an edge over other um, students who have done BSc course that number one, they will be having more technical skills. They will be, uh, you know, actually having the project management skill also because uh, in the curriculum, they are going to have a one year project course in which they will be, uh, you know, actually having a flavor of how a research is actually performed. And that gives them an edge over, you know, that they, they actually get absorbed in R&D sectors. Then uh, another important thing is that um, in the curriculum, the BSc student is taught only a bit of bioinformatics. 
Whereas if you talk about the curriculum that is taught in uh, BTEC Biotechnology, the students uh, get a fair of uh, the computational skills. They actually learn uh, software languages like Python. Python is in a lot of usage nowadays. That gives them an extra edge that they can actually be competent for IT industries as well. Then apart from that, uh, again, uh, you know, as, as I just said, that BSc is a simple course in which you know the most of the focus is actually not job oriented. Whereas in BTEC Biotechnology, we focus on a professional development, an overall professional development of the student. And that is the reason why wherever you know the BTEC Biotechnology program is taught, there is always a career development set. And that is going to induce in the student the overall professional qualities that are required. So it is not only the technical skills, it is also their soft skills, how they're going to come up with the you know, interview panel, how they're going to speak, how they have to work on their body language. You know, all of those skills, like you know, uh, nowadays the companies, they actually require students who, who know everything, like they should be good at app, not only in the technical skills in biotechnology, but the, the companies require someone who actually can speak well, you know, the communication skills should be really good, because now definitely we know that, you know, biotechnology is actually having a global relevance. And when we have a global re relevance, the communication skills, they actually hold a very important part. And that is why the students are groomed in that sector that their uh, soft skills are honed up. Apart from that, uh, they are actually prepared well for you know the GDs and the mock interviews are being held, and that is the reason why BTEC Biotechnology any day is at par with the BSc uh, graduate BSc uh, Biotechnology program because number one the, st the student is actually getting groomed up overall in their personality in their technical skills. Second is that they are landing up at you know better jobs. The job area is actually uh, you know wide. So these, apart from that, the duration, of course, if you talk about BSc, after BSc, a person has to definitely go for NSC to achieve something in a job, to get a decent job position, right? Whereas in case exactly. of BTEC program, it is a four-year program in which the student is actually professionally skilled to be placed in any company they want. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Dr. Indubat, uh, for detailed explanation. My next question is to you again. Uh, MBBS is definitely the preferred choice for biology students, but uh, there are other career options such as BDS, BMS, BHMS, physiotherapy available for them. Why should a student opt for BTEC biotechnology instead of uh, those uh, courses? Yes, that, that's a very interesting question. And uh, the reason for this is that the biology students actually, the biggest dilemma I'll say for biology students is that they do not know any other career option that is available to them. They just know of one thing that is MBBS or BTS. So uh, all the biology students, I think they appear for need and they want to have an you know, MBBS degree for their, you know, in their hand. So yes, uh, being a biotechnologist myself, still I will say that yes, of course, if you talk about the profession of being a doctor, I think yes, this is the best option that the biology students have. But the question here is that how many actually get that option? And we have so many students every you know every year they are appearing for uh, they are appearing for the uh, you know the uh, MBBS course, but only a few qualify. Okay, uh, in this same series, I would like I to ask you. Yeah, I think there was some uh, technical error, so yeah, I'm very sorry about that. So, uh, we were discussing about uh, basically, you know, about the MBBS and, uh, you know, the other programs that are available for the students. So, yes, of course, you're very much right that, you know, the other options that a biology student has that, you know, you have a BTS program, you have a BAMS, BHMS degree. So, yes, of course, you know, uh, people, people think that, you know, they can actually opt for, uh, you know, these uh, medical options. But, you know, and I will be talking about, you know, these options one by one. So, if you talk about a BDS uh, you know, program. Definitely, you know, the person actually gets a doctor degree. But the, my question is 
that how many actually are able to get a decent job and after doing this you know uh, this uh, degree course also the biggest problem is that one thing as i just said that you know people do not get good jobs apart from that they are not actually capable of opening their own setup also and the reason is that you know setting up a complete you know a uh, uh, clinic that has all the dental equipments you know it is actually very expensive and beyond the reach of many people so that is why i will say that you know bds is not actually uh, that much of a good option now coming back to you know ba ms and bhms this is actually true that you know people are now heading towards these herbal remedies the natural uh, pathy is being there but still people have a kind of a, you know blind faith that you know if they want an immediate treatment they want, they will be definitely going for allopathic treatment so again you know uh, they they can actually open up their own clinic but they will not be getting that much of a good pay or even if you know they are actually having a fees for that the fees will be very limited so i i'll say that the earning part if you talk about the earning part that is actually very less in bams and bhms the next you said is uh, physiotherapy so we you have physiotherapy we have you know other other courses as well like you know occupational therapy then we have a speech therapy course, which is also getting you know a lot of popularity nowadays but i'll say that you know these these courses they do take four years of time but then establishing their own setup and you know it is actually stoners and the long working hours are there and that is why i will say that you know beauty by technology is a program that somewhere has a uh, diverse uh, you know uh, jobs which are available and that is the reason why i always say that beauty by technology is definitely a better uh, degree course to do okay thank you uh, dr indu but in this same series i would like to ask you again the one last question how is the uh, btech biotechnology different from pharma yes btech uh, many of the student actually are aware of b pharma and that is the reason why you know it is very really important to understand the difference between the two uh, definitely in the curriculum setup and uh, how they are related also and what are the job opportunities uh, for the students who are pursuing b pharma and who are doing btech biotechnology so now first important thing is that uh in case of b pharma the students are actually taught more about chemistry so if a student is actually good in chemistry then only he should you know go for b pharma because mostly they are going to you know study maximum about you know the manufacturing of drugs they are going to study about the organic chemistry aspect and there is actually after that you know studying all these things the placement is actually going to be mostly in the pharmaceutical companies only in production division for example and yes there is just one edge that the, the b pharma students can have over btech biotechnology student is that they can open up their own shop that is it other than that you know if you talk about btech biotechnology i would uh, you know like to highlight the career options that btech biotechnology students have so uh, you know one of a very uh, promising career option that btech biotechnology students has is that they get placed in pharmaceutical companies also as a quality analyst as a quality control uh, specialist they 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 work towards the production and they work in the production unit also they they work in the r&d sector as also and the main reason behind that is that in biotechnology curriculum they are being taught about bioinformatics technique that actually uh, helps them in understanding the concepts of you know drug designing and how vaccine is being developed and i think you know uh, we have understood a lot after this pandemic and you know covid happened so uh, you know one thing is that you know i always say front foot you know, who is fighting it is the doctors but you know behind the curtains who is working it is the biotechnologists right so that is how i say that you know whenever anyone is choosing a program it is basically having two goals one is to have the education to gain the knowledge and second is to get placed in a decent company to to get money definitely we should we can never ignore that factor so if you talk about a comparison between these two courses i will i will see that you know btech uh, biotechnology offers a diverse uh, uh, you know career options and in case of btech pharma the options are limited thank you once again dr indu bhat for uh, sharing everything and uh, now i'll move my next question to ankit ankit uh, you are working uh, with a renowned multinational pharmaceutical company that is uh, sun pharmaceutical industries limited known to everyone please share your experiences of working in pharmaceutical company as 
BTEC Biotechnology student. Over to you, Ankit. Uh, hello, sir. Uh, actually, uh, in pharmaceutical company, as a uh, Sun Pharma is my dream company. So when I did BTEC in biotechnology, then I always wanted to go in Sun Pharma. But after a couple of years, I got a chance to work in a Sun Pharma. And uh, in meanwhile, I always want to work in a research field. So here I am working in a R&D department and I am doing the development of methods on chromatography. So it's my dream come true after BTEC in biotechnology. So I always want to be a researcher or scientist. So my uh, so it's like a dream come true and uh, after BTEC biotechnology, it's helps me a lot to work in a pharmaceutical company in a good manner. So BTEC biotechnology is a very good option uh, for everyone in any field. Okay, thank you, Ankit. Uh, thank you for sharing uh, your uh, experience of 10, year, 10 years after passing BDEC Biotechnology. Now, I would uh, like to go again to our head of the department for a question, and that is a major challenge with the BDEC Biotechnology student is that of uh, mathematics. Mathematics uh, scares everyone. Uh, Dr. Mekna Singh, what is your say on this? Yes, Dr. Vivek. So maths is one subject biology students are very scared of. So they want to run away from maths. I think every student is going to agree with that. But here, as I said, that biotechnology is just not only about biology, right? It involves a lot of engineering. It involves a lot of technology also in itself. So to understand engineering and technology, you need to be equipped with many, many other uh, areas and domains that will help you to create that. So having elementary mathematics, having elementary physics, and a little bit of chemistry will help these students in future to become fully equipped for handling uh, biotechnology-based engineering uh, assignments, jobs, or any kind of topics that they work into. So at IMS Engineering College, we have very well uh, expert faculties who take care of these students uh, to understand these basic elementary subjects such as maths. They help them practice they as per the curriculum. And they are, like, as per our past report, none of our students are, has ever complained that they had problem with mathematics as their subject in, bio, in biotechnology. So this is not at all a problem at MSEC campus. Thank you, Dr. Meghna Singh. Now I'll move my next question to uh, Dr. Indu Bhatt. Uh, Dr. Indu Bhatt, uh, please express your uh, views on career options for uh, BTEC biotechnology students. Okay, uh, so as I said before also, you know, when we were discussing about the various options that are available for biology students, we, we spoke about, uh, you know, the other career choices like BAMS, BHMS, and we spoke for B pharma also. I at that time I said that you know uh, biotechnology students they actually have a lot of opportunities that that is available to you and unfortunately people are not aware, aware about it. So one dilemma as I said was that people are people don't know that there is a BTEC course that is available that the, the students who have biology can actually become engineers. So they since since the history you know they always knew that a biology student is going to be a doctor. But an engineer, a biology student, is that even possible? So yes, that is possible. And then, um, you know, because I think uh, uh, this this was not discussed also, I would also like to put for, uh, this forward that a student who has only biology and who is not having maths, because like Dr. Meghna said, that the, you know, there is maths definitely in the curriculum. So uh, the students, you know, who actually have only, only uh, you know, biology and they do not have maths in their 12th, they need not be scared at all because it is going to, it is actually elementary mathematics that they, they they will be learning in their first year only and then later on they will be studying about the biotechnology courses so for example bioinformatics is what they'll be studying they'll be studying about bioprocess engineering for example biomedical engineering for examples so all those things uh, you know will be amalgamated together in the biotechnology course so now coming on to the career opportunities that is available because so much is taught in biotechnology so many fields you know are taught such such a diversity is present in the curriculum the students can actually get absorbed, you know, based on their technical skills. That is number one. That is their biotechnology skills. 
and no. number two because the way they are groomed as i said before also that you know uh, in engineering colleges we we have a career development center in which the main focus is to get the students placed so based on that the students can actually get placed in multiple fields so starting from you know the first field in which uh, the students are mostly interested that is uh, the higher studies many students uh, we have also seen you know in in our college that students want to go for higher studies and that is definitely one of the fields but right now when i am talking about the career options i am not going to take that into consideration right now because when you talk about the career uh, you know opportunity and we are comparing with other four degree four uh, year degree programs like b pharma for example or a bsc program which is a three years program the comparison has to be a, you know it, it should be a one on one comparison so if you talk about uh, you know uh, what what all diversity of uh, jobs are available for biotechnology students there are number one the biotechnology companies which offer jobs to the students so for example you know we have food industries like you know we have nestle we have uh, britannia for example mother dairy uh, amul so these are food biotechnology students in you know multiple sector that that include quality assurance division quality control officer uh, you know uh, biotechnology students they come uh, quality control officers then they uh, they work in the agricultural industries in the r&d sector they can become agricultural scientists so uh, you know they can work towards uh, you know mutation of uh, these these crop plants for example i have worked on and they can uh, work on these fields and lead to the production of you know the crops which have better qualities then apart from that you know, uh, we have the healthcare and pharma companies that i spoke of that the students of biotechnology have actually an extra edge over the pharma students that they can actually get placed in you know multi in multiple sectors in the pharmaceutical companies so as i said in case of food industries also uh, similarly in pharmaceutical companies the students uh, get placed in qa qc division they get uh, you know jobs in the production division they get jobs in marketing division also a lot of uh, you know students from our campus also they get recruited in companies like uh, like cell that is you know a pioneer in stem cell banking and if a student is actually good in communication and you know he can actually he or she can actually go for a marketing profile in uh, you know these companies and you know marketing actually specifically is you know many people who actually have female child they are very apprehensive of you know taking marketing as a career option but this particular job option is actually very very good specifically for girls and the reason is that you know the, the people they are going to interact with are majorly females the pregnant females actually which actually gives them a very you know high comfort zone plus their the placement is actually in you know good reputed uh, hospitals wherein they will be just interacting with gynecologists and the pregnant females so this gives an extra edge to female uh, you know uh, uh, students also that they can actually do their uh, do a job in marketing then apart from that they actually get placed in you know multiple administrative positions like they can be picked up by a patent company as a patent officer they can uh, you know become environment and health uh, officer food office food uh, specialist for example so these uh, uh, you know job opportunities are also available for the, for the biotechnology students apart from that you know, recently there is a you know big sector that is popping up and you know again it is full of opportunities for biotechnology students and that is that we all know that you know nowadays uh, the the fossil fuels they are getting reduced and uh, like uh, for the layman if i say that you know uh, petrol and diesel it is actually getting limited and we are looking for alternative fuels so uh, you know in alternative to this is in white monthly has provided an alternative to this also and these are called as bio fuels like you know the production of bio diesel for example bio ethanol so you know in these companies also biotechnologists they they find a decent profile apart from that another promising sector in which biotechnologists can find a job is in the forensic sciences so you know all these crime scenes where you know the dna analysis has to be done so who is actually working in these companies it is the biotechnologists who actually work you know they extract the dna they take the sample extract the dna do the matching and these you know forensic work is actually done by biotechnologists also apart from that in addition to pharmaceutical companies there is an extra edge for the biotechnology students to get placed in the medical laboratories where they can work as a uh, biochemist or the microbiologist also so as i said uh, you know in the very beginning that um, in biotechnology the students actually uh, you know have an understanding of so many subjects 
so they have a multiple uh, you know uh, they have multiple opportunities to get a decent job or get into higher positions not only in india but also uh, you know uh, abroad as well thank you dr indu bhat now i would take my next question to our head uh, dr meghna singh is the uh, biotechnology btech biotechnology at par with other engineering courses uh, dr meghna singh please express your views yeah definitely so btech biotechnology engineering is very much equivalent to each and every uh, other domains of engineering so a computer science engineer a civil engineer a mechanical engineer and then a biotechnology engineer so they all are equivalent and uh, they all have equal opportunities in the market all the companies they consider btech biotechnology students for their it openings they are considered for even their uh, specific requirements in field of mechanical or ec openings also so all these all these all these uh, companies and engineering domains they are they they have started accepting biotechnology as a very much part of engineering domain also and then we then as a biotechnology engineer then we have a edge also towards the research side also right so where an engineer can uh, be a good researcher an engineer can be a good uh, resource so research and resource are two things that we are creating through our biotechnology engineers uh thank you dr meghna singh now i'll uh, go to our another uh, btech biotechnology alumnus in the panel uh, ms yashi tripathi uh she just recently passed out uh, from the department yashi you have been placed in wipro uh, with the which is a prominent it company in fact uh, a multinational as well i miss that do you think that the curriculum taught to you in btech bi biotechnology help you getting uh, this job over to you yashi thank you so much sir for giving me this opportunity uh, of course the uh, btech biotechnology course has helped me to uh, reach where, where where i am today the faculty that we had was very supportive and we were just not answering our biotechnological questions but were also answering every question that we had and there were several webinars that were been arranged that also helped us to get an idea about how to settle in it industry or for any uh, domain or any uh, firm and also there were also the experiences that were being shared by the uh, alumni that uh, and uh, they were also sharing how it is easier to settle when uh, like i also have some friends that are from other uh, colleges but they are not suitable like they are very afraid of going in it industry but i am like ho jayega <laughs> btech ho gaya to it bhi ho jayega <laughs> so btech is a course jo sari cheeze aapko karate ho jata hai i have learned so many things like my overall personality development was been in the college and i think choosing ims engineering college was the best decision to do that okay ashi i have uh, one more question for you and uh, what are other opportunities according to you give you an edge as a btech biotechnology student that help you in overall growth and overall growth as a professional so btech is a degree that uh, makes you professional like it makes you a professional and it helps you to just face the world with be with that professionalism and uh, the discipline that we had in our college was the prime key like we were taught ki itna assignment itna hona hai so that has become a habit now we don't have to be get scolded by our hr managers that you have not completed because we are in that habit of completing things on time the discipline that who be holds that and also um, like around the people who are professional helps you to get in that environment and our teachers are uh, respected faculty were so professionalism uh, the professional uh, the professional was very high on the peak like we we used to just get inspired by them that we have to do this so it helped a lot and uh, that was perfect thank you yashi for sharing your views i'll come back to you later 
Uh, now I'll put up my uh, question for uh, Ankit, uh, the alumni of uh, 2011 at uh, Sun Pharmaceutical Company. Ankit, I would like to put a similar question before you. Do you think that uh, pursuing BTEC biotechnology was the right choice? Yes, sir. I think BTEC biotechnology is a very good option uh, because uh, after BTEC in biotechnology, there are so many options to work like uh, in if you want to go in a pharmaceutical industry, there is a option to go pharmaceutical industry like I am also working in a pharmaceutical industry. I am working in R&D, but you have option to go in a plant in quality control in QA and there are so many options in pharmaceutical only. And uh, in pharmaceutical, uh, right now, pharmaceutical industry are working on a biotechnology field like for biosimilars and uh, so many companies start working on vaccine. Even though uh, Corona virus vaccine formation is only possible due to biotechnology. So due to this, so many population of the world is safe now. So uh, like if you want to go in a food industry, there is an option like uh, we learned Food, in, uh, food technology as well in biotechnology. So you have an option to go in a food technology. If you have done B-Tech in food tech only, then you have a only particular one field to go in a food tech only. But uh, after B-Tech uh, biotechnology, there are so many options like IT industry is also open for B-Tech biotechnology. You learn uh, languages as well. And there are so many options because uh, if, if you have done B-Tech in biotechnology from IMS, then first thing you learn discipline. And uh, second thing you learn timeline, how to meet timeline in industry. Two things are required discipline and timeline. So by doing BTEC in biotechnology, you have far better in industry from others. So I think BTEC in biotechnology is very best option if you are doing from IMS. Okay, thank you, Ankit. Now I would. Uh... I'd like to take uh, the next question to our head of department, uh, Dr. Meghna Singh. Uh, Dr. Meghna Singh, what should be the considerations for our students while choosing a BTEC biotechnology course? Okay, so this is one important decision that a student has to take, like uh, once decided that I want to pursue biotechnology, then from where to pursue? Which institution to look for where I can get uh, complete exposure? and also a learning and finally the placement. So uh, my, my answer lies in these words only. So uh, as an institution, if you look uh, at an institution for a biotechnology course, then the first thing is that how experienced the institution is in uh, imparting biotechnology education. How, how uh, uh, what kind of expert faculties they have, what kind of uh, resource they have to uh, gain, make the learning very interesting in biotechnology and also very current. There, there might be many new things that are not taught current or that are not exposed currently to the students. So that is very important. And also then uh, laboratory facilities, uh, what kind of uh, techniques a student is learning that is useful for industry. So that alignment with industrial requirement is also re uh, important for a department. The, uh, for that we have a memorandum of understandings with uh, different industries. And a department needs to be also very much uh, collaborative in nature. So, as to, because no one is isolated and no one is perfect in their own. So, as many collaborations the department has and more uh, connected the department is with other biotechnology domain working research institutes, industries, uh, academicians. So, that will give you more kind of exposure. And also, finally, uh, what at what the institution or the organization is adding on to the student in, the, in terms of their development, personal development also here. So how uh, personality development is one more important aspect that we create techno, uh, technocrats, we create biotechnology, tech, uh, technologically advanced uh, students, but are they able to uh, take that uh, uh, learning forward towards uh, in, the, in the market or in the companies or in the organizations where they work? That is where personality development is required. So is the institution offering a very good uh, backup support to the students in developing them? And then also then finally the placements. What kind of placements the students are getting? Are, is there a diversity in the placement? Is there is there, uh, is the student getting satisfactory uh, remuneration or the salary packages for their placements? So if 
speak out all of these aspects, then we can decide a good uh, college or an institution for teaching art technology. So since I am present, I am an engineering college here, uh, and uh, on these parameters, I would say that as a as a department, as a as a very experienced department since uh, almost more than a decade, uh, we are standing here, and, uh, and we have uh, so many batches who are present in the market, working uh, in reputed uh, companies, and also uh, in terms of collaborative collaborations, we are highly connected with universities in uh, US to taking universities and institutions in uh, Delhi and CR region. And also uh, we have a good placement record in many companies as Dr. Indupat has also, uh, already uh, discussed in, earlier, uh, in the earlier questions. So we, are, we have almost 80% placement record for all the students who are uh, learning here the four year course of engineering with us. So, um, I'm proud to be part of this institution that uh, that aligns perfectly with all the good parameters of a good biotechnology institution. Uh, thank you, Dr. Meghna Singh. Now I would uh, take uh, my question to uh, the alumni, Ankit. Ankit, would you like? Would you also like to share something else apart from uh, what you have uh, said and discussed? in the forum uh, i want to say if you want to uh, explore yourself in the field of research then btech biotechnology is a very good option and uh, the faculty of ims is very good they always helps you uh, whatever you want to do in your career like uh, i when i was a student uh, i want to do in a field of uh, something in a research then uh, the faculties always help me. Still, they they are helping me in the, like I am doing PhD. So still, faculties helping me. Like whatever the help is required, we are here for help you. So if you are doing BTech in biotechnology from IMS, then there is a very IMS is a very good college and department is very good. So uh, they always helps you uh, in your career growth in your career path. Uh, wherever you are, uh, they always help you. And uh, BTEC biotechnology, uh, according to me, is a good option. Like uh, uh, when I was a student, there is a film called Three Years. So, if BTEC करके भी bank में job करनी है या कुछ और करना है biotech से, तो फिर कोई फायदा नहीं है BTEC biotech करने का. So that's why uh, I always want to go in a field of research. So I am fortunate enough I, that I got a very good company, India's number one pharma company, Sun Pharma. So, and uh, here I am working as a research manager. This is a very good uh, option. Like, if you are in a big company and you are working in a good post, so according to me, uh, I am far better than M Pharma people here. Because same experience of M Pharma people having less talent as compared to me. Because uh, we take a time pe humne itna seekh liya ki timeline kaise meet karni hai ya industry kaise aage badhna hai so that's the reason i am here thank you so much sir so uh, my you, suggestion uh, ke we take biotechnology uh, acha option hai career ke liye aur agar aap ims se karte hain to isse acha option koi bhi nahi hai thank you thank you once again ankit for uh, giving sir. us uh, your time thank you thank you so now much now i will Take back uh, the same question to our youngest uh, panelist, Yashi. Yashi, I would uh, request you to say a few words uh, about uh, the future of biotechnology aspirants. Over to you, Yashi. Thank you, sir. So the students that are uh, thinking of taking BTEC biotechnology as an option, they are surely walking to a uh, path of so many career options like uh, doing BTEC biotechnology can uh, be helpful to uh, for you to just go for higher studies to go for pharmaceutical companies to go for IT companies like I like I did uh, we also have jobs in marketing companies so uh, there are different uh, uh, sets of jobs that are there in different companies and like BTEC 
okay a beating in biotechnology has been more uh, helpful to me than uh, like any other thing so i think that is the best option and i would advise the people who are thinking ki btech biotech karna hai ya nahi to kar lo bahut acha hai acche se ho jayega aur ims se kar lo fir to maza hi aa jayenge thank you yashi thank you, thank you for sharing your uh, experience okay i think uh, through this discussion we have uh, reached to a conclusion that btech biotechnology for sure is a very promising career choice student may choose btech biotechnology btech biotechnology over other available career opportunities for biology student i would also like to thank all the panelists for being a part of this event thank you everyone and have a great day thank you thank you thank you thank you sir thank you, sir. Thank you ma'am thank you